Coach Doug Robertson, West Football, getting ready for the uh, 2021 East-West All-Stars football game on Wednesday night. Coach, first of all, it's got to be, I'm sure, for you an honor just to be here coaching this team. Yeah, I mean, I, it's, it, heck, if you look at the, back at the record books and see who's been coaches in this game, and especially head coaches, I just feel like to be a part of that came, same conversation is pretty neat and uh, certainly an honor for me. Come a long way, too, coming from uh, – up in Reedsville, then Roxborough, Eastern Guilford, Thomasville, now at Page. You've, you've put your work together over the years and seen a lot of different programs, worked a lot of different programs. I'm sure you bring a lot of different ideas to the game for this week, too, probably. Yeah, and it's, you know, you just got to find a way to, when you get the kids here, to get them to play together for five, you know, you got five days. You can't do too much, but you got to do enough to try to move the football on offense and give uh, their offense enough look on defense and try to get your special teams as solid as they can be. So. Try to pick a few things and get good at them. I think if you try to do too much, that's probably not a good thing. Do you just kind of look at the talent available and then see what kind of system you want to run from that? Yeah, well, we try to pick the team for what we, what kind of offense and defense we want to run. But after you get here, obviously, you exactly know what you got. And I think it is some evaluation once you get here to see who we want to get the ball the most offensively and, and who needs to be the playmakers on defense. And I guess from that standpoint, too, you look at it as a whole, you probably – Try not to make it like you said. Don't make it a cram course and try to cram a bunch of stuff in at one time. Just probably go maybe lesser plays and make sure you get all those plays correct. Absolutely. I think less is more, so to speak. And, uh, you know, I think you got good athletes here. You don't want to confuse those guys. You want to let them play. So we've tried to let them play as much as possible. How do you prepare for the other team? Because you don't know much. You just more or less prepare yourself and make sure you focus on your own game and not worry as much about the other team as far as what they're going to do. I think you're right for the most part. We do know who's calling their plays, kind of, and you know the, the defense they have to run. So it's kind of some rules there that help you. Uh, so we try to prepare for what we know, and obviously they're going to throw some things we're probably not ready for. We have to make adjustments just like any other football game on the run. What kind of things have impressed you about uh, your team's abilities this week? What, looking at your kids, see what they've got. What, what has impressed you about this group you've got together here? I think we got a good a variety. Uh, you know, starting offensively, we got some receivers can hurt you, and I think our quarterbacks can deliver the ball to them. And our offensive lines got better and better in our five days. And we have uh, three running backs. We think we can give it to any of those three guys can be bruisers and and get us three yards at least every play. And uh, so I think we got some balance there. And I've been impressed by how fast we are in defense. You know, I think speed on defense is big in this game, and I think we have that. And Coach Devine is our defense coordinator from Burns. He's really done a good job kind of uh, in conjunction with Coach Hicks and uh, Coach Cannon doing a good job defensively, uh, trying to get those guys on the field. And then offensively, you know, myself, uh, Coach Eddins from Crest, who's uh, coaching our backs, quarterbacks, and then Coach uh, Bland from East Rutherford, coaching our receivers, trying to get them to jail and be unselfish and, and knowing that uh, – and I think we got an unselfish bunch here. That's the other thing I would say is a positive. You know, these guys are really starting to really care about each other and they want to go play well to win the football game. And I guess from your prior experience over the years, you've always been able to run the football. I'm sure with a situation like this, it's probably to start with a run first and try to build the passing game as much as you can after that. Yeah, we try to mix it up. I think – being at this game a lot, I think the inability to throw the ball is a key, is a key why people maybe have not been successful. So hopefully we'll be able to keep people off balance being able to throw the ball with our quarterbacks and receiving tandem. So we feel good about that, but at the same time, the East has good players too. So we got to have to, we'll have to be sharp with what we do. You've had experience this game in the past, so you've had some players. Remember uh, Caden uh, Graves, remember the Graves kid a while back, and a couple of guys from Thomas will have been here, and you've had yep. kids from Page, I guess, here over the years too. Uh, yep. Uh, so you've seen the kids before. Uh, this has got to be a good experience, having a chance to just bear down and coach everybody yourself now. To watch it so much in the past, maybe being assistant coach in other games kind of like this, but now being yeah. a head coach, that's got to be something you're happy about too, I'm sure. Yeah, it's cool, to do this. man. Just, you know, uh, coaching this many good athletes on one field is pretty neat you know, to, to be at your leisure. You know, and that makes it easier to call plays if you're a play caller and call defense if you're calling defense. And, Special teams, are, everything's better. Special teams has more athletes on it, and you don't feel thinned out, so to speak. So uh, it's been real neat, been refreshing to coach these guys that, that kind of know what to do a little bit and uh, just kind of making them a little bit better and on what we do during the week. It's been pretty neat. What are some things maybe you've learned this week, being around the coaches, around some of the players? Just uh, the fact of uh, how uh, – I think it's neat to see people from other parts of the state that you don't always get to see. Like my staff, none of them are for the triad, you know, I know of these guys, but getting to know them and having a personal relationship, we'll be friends for a long time. And uh, 
and then the players are seeing different people. We got a guy from Franklin who's the tip of the state of the West, and all the way to here to Triad. Seeing those guys mess together in jail during the week has been fun to watch. What's the key to win a game like this? I know you want to win it because that'd be good for your coaches, staff, for yourself, and also for the players to be here with a win. What's the key to win a game like this on a Wednesday night? In the past, in this game, I think. Uh, Turnovers and special teams have been big. So I think in any, I think it's any game, but especially a game where kids only have five days to get ready. And I think the second thing is conditioning, trying to keep your kids fresh. I think kids have gotten tired toward the end of this game. That's when mistakes are made on special teams and a turnover. You're not thinking, you're not concentrating. And uh, so we got, we tried to really condition our guys to, to be sound the whole game. Uh, and do the little things right. And uh, if we don't turn it over and we get 11 hats to the ball and don't make any special teams mistakes, I think we got a good chance as any to win. And you finish here, then go back to work with the Page Pirates. What's the excitement level like with Page coming up this year? I think it's really exciting. We got, you know, we're still installing our program. And uh, last year it got cut short a little bit with COVID. So we're excited. We've got our guys in the weight room and had a good summer. Now let's see if we can carry it over the fall and get better. I think we've gotten better during the summer. We'll see how it'll carry over to the fall. Coach, keep doing what you're doing, doing a great job, and you represent the area well, so thank you for your time today. Thank you very much, Andy. Appreciate you guys.